So, uh, welcome again, everybody. Thanks for being here. Um, this is week two of Awana. This is uh, TNT Large Group. Um, we're going to get started with a prayer, and then we'll go over today's lesson, okay? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your many blessings. Thank you for a new day and a new week to come to Awana and learn more about you. Uh, we just ask that uh, you be with us tonight, open our hearts and minds. Uh, to what you have for us, and uh, please keep us safe on the way home. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, so like we talked about last week, the theme for TNT this year is going to be love others. And we talked about um, the theme verse last week, which we're going to go, I'm going to go over for everybody again, um, just in case you weren't here last week or you don't remember. But our theme verse is going to be in the book of John, chapter 13, and it's verses 34 and 35. So I'll just read that for everybody right now. If you have a Bible and you want to open it up, follow along. The uh, verse is right here, John 13, 34, and 35. And what it says is, it says, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you are also to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. So, that's Jesus telling us that he's giving us a commandment that we're supposed to love one another. Now, <clears throat> we're going to come back to this question a lot this year. But when he says love one another, who do you think that he's talking about? Anybody? No? Love everybody, that's right. Josh? Um, I think that what he means by um, love others is love all of his creation. Okay. So all other humans, all animals, well, <coughs> don't just poach animals um, to take care of his creation. Mm -hmm. So, I think you guys are both on the right track. He's talking about love everybody other than yourself. Right? Because the only person, the only thing that's not included in love one another is yourself. Right? That doesn't mean we don't love ourselves, but that means our focus should be on loving everyone else. Because I know for me, sometimes it's really easy to focus only on myself and not on others. So that's why it's important that um, we, we follow through on what Jesus was talking about and also, um, you know, keep learning and getting better at it. So this week, what I wanted to talk about a little bit is when we was talking about love one another, where do you think we should start with that? Well, we have a great example in the Bible. It's actually in a couple of the books, but I chose the version from Matthew for this week. So that's the second verse that's on the board for here, second group of verses. Matthew chapter 22, verses 33 uh, through 40. So if you have your Bible, why don't you turn to the book of Matthew. It's the first book in the New Testament. We don't have any, any extras, do we, Dave? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will read it since, if, since not everybody seems like they have the Bible here. Um, but... This is a story from when Jesus was on earth, and he was actually talking with some of the uh, spiritual leaders of the Israelites at that time. Um, he had just finished talking to a group called the Sadducees, um, and um, when he was finished with them, um, answering their question, because they were, at that point, the spiritual leaders... Um, didn't like what Jesus was doing because he, the way, what he was teaching about was different than what they were used to. And so they were trying to trap him or trick him with questions. And so he just finished answering their questions. And now um, the next group, which is called the Pharisees, come in. So starting in verse 34, if you want to follow along with me, it says, But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, 
ask him a question to test him. Everybody knows what a lawyer is, right? They're the ones that try and interpret the law and uh, judge whether somebody has followed the law or not. Um, a lawyer, who was, who was one of the Pharisees, asked him this question. He said, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he, he being Jesus, said to them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second one is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Okay? So that's Jesus telling us that there's a priority and an order on how or who we should love. It says, first, the great commandment is love God. Love the Lord your God with everything that you have. Your heart, your soul, and your mind. Okay? So we are supposed to be loving God with everything that we have. Uh, your heart is what drives who you are, how you feel, and what you think is important. What matters to you. Your soul is that thing that's not physical that every person has. We, have, we all have a soul, and that's where the, the, your spirit resides. That's where the intangible things about you exist. That is also something that God wants us to use to love Him. So that's not just doing physical things like going to church or, you know, being nice. It is all those other things that um, we can do, like care for somebody or put somebody else above uh, their needs above our own that he's asked, talking about there. And then he's also asking about our mind, which our mind is what we can use to think and uh, discern or that's also another word for using wisdom to kind of understand the right thing to do. Deciding, is this a thing that Jesus or God wants me to do? Is this something that I shouldn't be doing? Has God told me I'm, I'm not supposed to do this? Is this something that my parents, as my leaders while I'm a child, want me to do? Should I be on, am I following their directions when, uh, I'm, you know, am I thinking about doing something? Am I following what my parents have told me? You know, am I thinking about things that only I'm interested in and focusing on myself, or am I thinking about other people, like my family or my friends, or maybe even people that you don't know, but you know that they need help? So these are all things that we can use to love God. And the primary way to love God is to follow His commandments. How do you know what His commandments are? They're in the Bible. So that's what we do first to love others, because that's God is obviously somebody who is not us. And so we are um, going to love God first with all of our actions. But notice in that same group of verses, he says, love your neighbor as yourself. And, and we talked about this a little bit already today, but and we're going to come back to it a bunch of times this year. Who do you think your neighbor is? Anybody? Who's your neighbor? What do you think, Sophie? We're all neighbors in this room, right? So a neighbor doesn't necessarily mean the person that lives next to you. They are your neighbor. But a neighbor is somebody that you share a space or an activity or a, um, an interest or a family bond or a social bond, like at school or at church. All of those people can be your neighbors. You can have a neighbor that you've never met before, but you're joined together somehow either by being at the same place at the same time, sharing an interest, attending an event together, or you just happen to meet for the first time because they're new at school and they go to your school. They can still be your neighbor. So 
Where do you think that uh, when we talk about the commandments that we just read about, where it says the great, the great and first commandment and then the second commandment, does everybody know what the word commandment means? If you know what it means, raise your hand. Sophie, what do you think it means? Kind of, yes. It's, it's a, uh, a law given to us by God. So it's something that he told us to do. So it, you could think of it as God's law in reference to the Bible. So everybody's heard of the Ten Commandments, right? Mm -hmm. Does anybody know what all the Ten Commandments are? You know all the Ten Commandments? Excellent. So what Jesus was talking about here is... If you guys know the Ten Commandments, neither one of these are one of the quote-unquote Ten Commandments that are usually referenced. The, um, the first one, the great one, is in the Ten Commandments. Um, but it's also found after Moses shares the Great Commandments um, in uh, Deuteronomy, when he comes down off the mountain with the the, uh, with, the with the stone tablets. Um, he also talks about, uh, it's in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. It's right, right after he gives the Ten Commandments. Um, the first commandment is, you know, you must not have any other God before me. Which that's talking about specifically that God is the only God. And you need to um, worship him. But that's paraphrased basically in here is that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. And that's Moses tell, tells that to Israel in the next chapter in Deuteronomy 6 verse 4. He says, listen, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord alone, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength. That's what Jesus is referencing here in Matthew. And the second commandment uh, that he lists here where it says you should love your neighbor as yourself isn't one of those Ten Commandments either. But basically the second half of the Ten Commandments is all about loving your neighbor. Don't steal. Don't kill. All of those commandments are summed up by this commandment. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So, when we're talking about this, this is why we're going to have love others as a theme this year. Because number one, Jesus told us in John, the, first, the theme verse that we read, that this is his commandment is to love one another. But it's, what we're going to try and do this year is not just understand what that means, but figure out how we can do that. You know, what does love really mean? Who are the people that we're supposed to love? Why are we supposed to love others? Um, what are some examples of showing love to other people? So that's all what we're going to talk about right now. But today is when I wanted to highlight for us, not just because Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. He specifically talks about it in Matthew when we read today. That the, the greatest commandments that um, are in the Bible, the first one is to love God with everything you have. And the second is to love your neighbor as yourself. That's how important this is to God, and it should be how important it is to us. Okay? So we're going to talk more about that the rest of this year. We're going to go into this little topic of... Um, the great commandment. There's another version that I want to talk about too. Um, but we're going to do that next week, okay? But uh, right now, we're almost out of time, so we're going to go ahead and close in prayer, okay? Thanks. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for um, your word and what you've shown us tonight. Please help us to understand uh, what it means when you tell us to love you with all of our heart soul and mind, and then to love others, uh, love your neighbor as yourself. Um, we
we know this is important to you because you've said it in your word. We just want to be able to understand and be faithful to what you've asked us to do. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.